I like the science teacher here. What I like about seventh grade is all the awesome teachers and everything we get to know. Math and lunch. Math. Everything. I've been here for 24 years. I love seventh. Everything about seventh grade. I decided to have my own locker and be able to walk in the always by myself. I like Mr. Tabor. <laughs> I like that we don't have to walk single file. I like having classes with like a lot of different of my friends rather than having class with just one group of my friends. I have nice teachers. I like climbing the ropes in the gym. There's more things to do with RMT. I like changing classes and math. Music. I, I like my teachers and that's all. What I like about RMTs, I love the teachers. They're really nice. I like the walkers. I like all the teachers. Math. I was scared of like not being able my biggest fear is having a lot of homework. My biggest fear was um, getting bad grades on my own. My biggest fear was joining the soccer team, but I made it. I'm scared of bullies. My biggest fear was all my teachers were going to hate me. <laughs> Forget my combination. Okay. My biggest fear was losing all my stuff. My biggest fear was I was afraid of my teachers. <laughs> Not being able to open my locker. Okay. I don't know. I'm afraid of not being able to open my locker. My biggest fear was breaking my pencil too much. We're going to New York. Um, I'm going to go on vacation and we're going to go to Tennessee. Fishing. Easter. Yes, now. Eat chicken. My favorite thing about spring is the warmth. S summer is next. The flowers. Get straight A's. I'd like you need to be a better person. To ride my bike Be a better person. <laughs> What's your New Year's resolution? Being a good friend. Take my hockey team to the championship and win it. Ball. To stop, stop eating french fries. To do more virtual Ooh. reality stuff. Ooh. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to stop eating pizza. Haley, what's your New Year's resolution? To eat healthier. What is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to eat as much as I possibly can. Stop, stop procrastinating. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to play soccer. School's gonna be over. The beach. I'm excited for going on an RV trip with my aunt. I'm excited for the beach. Going into the woods. The beach, bro. Hanging with friends. Yay! I'm excited to hang out with Nina. And I'm excited to not see Jack. Baseball. Track? Go to the What's dance. your favorite spring sport? What dance? Football. <laughs> I'll do sports. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for Sophie. Sleep. <laughs> I'm thankful for cheer. I'm thankful for Abby. I'm thankful for Abby. I'm thankful for Seth. I'm thankful for my, my family and potatoes. Reese's. Chicken. Chicken. I like Reese's. My favorite Halloween candy is Reese's. Reese's. This is so good as is. You can't get your locker open, carry around your books, or ask for help. You like robbers. Don't fight. Do your homework. Nice to your teachers. <laughs> Do your homework, kids. Don't fall asleep in class. Join the men's field hockey team. <laughs> homework and study. Take good notes. Yeah. Favorite thing about winter is the snow. No, no, no. no. Ice skating. Building a snowman because I can. Oh, hot. That's you. What's your favorite thing about winter? My favorite thing? I love the snow. I like making snowballs. Throwing them out. But I can't tell you all about it. I gotta go. Blue thing. It's gonna be Eminem. Angel. Uh, I'm gonna be Harambe. Apple. Apple. I'll be Taco Bell. I'm gonna be hamburger. We're gonna be bees. I'm gonna be Sam. I'm gonna be Haley. I wanna be a slaw. If you knew the world was going to stop and change forever on March 12, 2020, what would you have done differently?
If I had known the world was going to stop in March, I probably would have tried to remember that I school is something I take for granted and my life is something I take for granted and as when it ended I didn't realize that at first but now looking back I really should have taken all the time I could to appreciate everyone here and all the blessings I have in life. Uh, if I knew what was going to change on March 12, 2020, I would have moved to Cape May a lot sooner. If I knew the world was going to stop and change forever, I probably would have gotten more involved and like done more school related activities and like hang out with more friends and stuff because I really took the time I had for granted and I was definitely miserable throughout high school and if I could go back, I would be more positive. Um, if I knew the world was going to change on March 12th, uh, I would have got a workout regiment like ready to go so like I can come out like looking like really good so I can be just like ripped to the bone. I can be just like, yeah, that's me now. Uh, if I knew the world was going to change on March 12th, to be honest, I probably would have like flown down to Florida right before and stay with my dad so I could have warm weather for the how many months we were stuck in quarantine. I wasn't hit hard by the pandemic, luckily, but I might have stocked up on a little more toilet paper. I'd definitely start like a mask business or something, or like a toilet paper business, I don't know. <laughs> if I knew the world was going to stop, I would most definitely have more fun in high school and go to more events than sit inside. I would probably invest in some Tesla stock. So, you know, I don't think I would have done anything differently. Um, my senior, my senior quote was, uh, "Don't waste your time looking back. You're not going that way." So, you know, I'm a firm believer in uh, just, you know, keep keep going forth in your life and don't let anything stop you. So, I don't think I necessarily would have done anything differently if this was if everything was fated to happen a certain way. Then, you know, I would have just dealt with it myself. Um, I definitely think I would have gone out more and not taking my time and fun for granted, but. Everything happens for a reason, so there's more coming. I wouldn't have done anything differently. Could have been the first billionaire, like at age 17, just investing in Bitcoin or something. That's, that's something I would have done differently. I wish I wouldn't have gotten that gym membership. Uh, I probably would have tried to make friends with a bit more people so I can talk to people during quarantine. Um, I probably would have went to Canada and Vermont to see my family and friends for the last time. So if I knew about the pandemic in advance, I probably would stock up on paint by numbers and some fun activities, just because it got a little crazy in my house. Um, if I knew that the pandemic was going to like change the world almost a year ago, I would go back and tell myself to not hold on to people just for the sake of holding on to them and to like let things happen on their own. So I would uh, tell all my in-school friends that are all virtual this year, I'd tell them uh, goodbye and that i see them possibly soon. Um, if I had known the pandemic was coming, I don't know if I would have changed anything. Um, I think everything happens for a reason, so I would not change anything. It's impossible to prepare for the unexpected side of life. A lot of things happen without any prior warning. Earthquakes, disasters, just in general, there's a lot of things that we can't really predict. Even weather. As time progresses, we still are unable to 100% accurately predict weather at any given time. Look at our pandemic. We didn't really get a chance to uh, prepare for anything that just kind of came out of nowhere. And because of that, I think the idea of preparing for the unexpected at any given moment is integral. And especially our generation should be able to think on their feet and be able to bounce off from anything as quickly and efficiently as possible. If I knew the world was going to stop and change forever on March 12th, um, I would probably try to fix my work ethic a little bit before that because during and after that, things have just been a train wreck. <laughs> if I knew the world was going to end on the 12th of March, I would have been going, I would have gone to the beach a little more. I hung out with my friends just a little more. I wouldn't change anything during the pandemic at all. I liked it a lot. I would have told, told more people how I feel. You know, I'm a very you know, private person. I don't wear my feelings on my sleeves. Uh, but if I were able to go back in time uh, to the days right before the pandemic, 
I would have told my friends how much I was going to miss their company, their laughter, uh, just spending time with them. I would tell my teachers how much I was going to miss the interaction that we had on a daily basis. Uh, I would tell my parents uh, how much this was going to impact us. And ultimately, I would tell my mom that I love her just one last time. If I knew the world was going to change March 12, 2020, I wouldn't have sticked to the books like I did. I would have got more involved because I really enjoyed it the little time I had. I would have also done pit band a little earlier because I really enjoyed my time doing it. I wouldn't have done anything differently. I've learned a lot from, you know, the past year and I really enjoyed it. To be honest, I would probably just go to all the stores and stock up on everything, stock up on toilet paper, food, masks, you know, just get everything so I wouldn't have to worry. I would have traveled more and hung out with more people. Um, some things I would have done differently. Um, I wouldn't have taken all this time we had for granted uh, being at home. I would have taken advantage of it and, you know, not slacked off like I did. If I knew the world was going to change forever on March 12th, I know that I would try and get as involved as much as I can and just hang out with everybody, do as much as I can because for part of the year, I couldn't do anything. So I'd like to be able to make some memories before everything stopped. I wish I would have tried out for a musical to like sit on stage instead of just being in the pit. I would probably climb through Mr. Vitale's window a lot earlier than the last day we're in school. <laughs> if I knew the world was going to change on March 12th, I actually would have enjoyed school a little more because I do miss being in the classroom with all of my friends and everyone all together. If I knew the world was going to change forever, I wouldn't have taken all my classes for granted and being in the actual classroom because I genuinely do miss it. On a fault line late night Underneath the stars we came alive Singing to the sky just felt right I won't forget the good times While the punks started picking fights With the skater kids under city lights Remember how we laughed till we cried I won't forget the good times I never want to leave this sunset town but one day the time may come And I'll take you at your word and carry on I'll hate the goodbye But I won't forget the good times I won't forget the good times We were bare knuckle tight lip Little fingers up, ego trip The devil may care, but we didn't mind I won't forget the good times We're the boys in black See girls who didn't know love yet As the bonfire moon came down I won't forget the good times I never want to leave this sunset town one day the time may come And I'll take you at your word and carry on I'll hate the goodbye But I won't forget the good times Town, but one day the time may come And I'll take you at your word and carry on I'll hate the goodbye 
But I won't forget the good times What is your final message to your classmates? My final words uh, as a senior here at Lower Cape May Regional to uh, all the fellow cl uh, classmates at Lower Cape May is just simply to be involved. Um, continue to work hard in school and um, be involved as well outside of school in the community. Uh, community service is a big part and just continue to have fun. That's the big thing. My final message to my classmates would be that I wish you luck on whatever you're doing after high school and thank you for a fun four years. My final message to my classmates would be good luck on whatever journey you're going to take through life and thank you for molding me into the person I am today. Thank you for all the memories. Thank you guys for all the memories. It's been real and if you want my autograph before I'm on ESPN, let me know now. Good luck and do great things. For all my fellow uh, senior classmates, everyone that's helped me in this past four years and even before that, I hope we stay close forever as long as we can because it's been a great time and I hope we can be as close as we can for as long as we can. To my classmates, I hope you have a good rest of your life. Get out and travel. It's been a good four years. I guess I would tell everyone that I wish them luck and I'll miss you guys. I'm really grateful for the time I got to spend here with everyone. and. I really hope that all of my classmates get to where they want to be in life. I just want to say I wish all of you the best and I hope you achieve your goals and dreams and I'm so proud of all of you. Good luck to anybody who's going to college. Time flies and we made the most of everything. Do what you want to do, whatever, you pers whatever you're going to do, pursue it after your four years have been here with us and just, you know, the pandemic has been hard for us for a year. Don't let that discourage you. Do what you want to do. Go on to college. Go on to do whatever you want to do. Just, you know, make the most out of it. Have fun. Trust in yourself. We have all the tools that we possibly could ever need to succeed in life, thanks to the incredible staff that we've had here at LCMR. These past four years have been the best of my life, through the good times and through the bad times. We have been there for each other. And as we move forward, as we go off to college, when we go off to our trade and to our jobs, remember each other. We will always have these special four years of our life. Be there for one another when we move forward and trust in your abilities. My final message to my class needs is to get out and explore. We've been here, we're through high school. Go out and just enjoy what the world has to offer because it's a pretty incredible place. I love you guys, I truly do. Um, there were some good, good times and some really, really bad times, but throughout everything, I really enjoyed every second I had with you guys. Thank you. So my final message to my classmates is to always pursue what you want to do, go after what you want to do in life, and uh, yeah. I just wanted to say thank you, because you guys have taught me a lot about myself and a lot about other people. And it was definitely an experience to remember. My final message to everybody is you have to roll with the punches to get to what's real. And if you have goals, if you have dreams, don't ever tell yourself that you can't do that. For instance, I told myself one day that I'm never going to work at a restaurant and I don't see myself working in a restaurant. And maybe a year later, I. I'm a dishwasher at a restaurant now. 
So don't ever tell yourself you can't do something because there's a possibility you can do it. And, you know, high school goes really fast. Before you, you might be a freshman right now. Freshman, sophomore, before, like I was a freshman. Now I'm literally a senior about to graduate high school. Before you know it, it'll be over. Enjoy a while last. Go to every homecoming. Go to every prom. Go to every concert. Go to every concert, play, guitar. Like dance, play an instrument, play a sport, do something. But enjoy it. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't. So any advice I have for my underclassmen is don't care what other people think because it is the biggest waste of time ever. And this might be a sucky part of your life or like a huge growing part, but this is where you're gonna get a ton of experience and you should appreciate every second. My final message to my classmates is thank you for the four years y'all gave me. I, I know I've had my ups and downs, but I'm thankful for all the friends I made all the bonds that I've kept, like, the stuff that I did here. Like, I made so many friends with the wrestling team. I'm thankful for actually joining that and making family there. Um, to all my classmates, I want you guys to have fun. Do all your work, because trust me, if you're behind on work, it just makes your life a lot harder, so just do it. All the football guys have a good season next year. I want all you to kill it. Beat up people, be the best you are, win the day. I'm gonna miss every single person here at this school. Um, the final message to my classmates would be good luck, and I hope everyone does well and has a really fun time in college. Uh, just over the last four years, I've seen people leave and seen people come, and while it's cheesy and generic to say that, we do each carry a little bit of each other within one another as we move forward with our futures. Uh, it's important to remember the people who allowed us to get here and the people who are soon to come allow us to move forward. Again, these are memories we should cherish and ideally with something like a yearbook, maybe years from now we can look back on all this and have a hearty laugh about our situation. My final message is make the beginning a sketch and the ending a masterpiece. My final message to the class of 2021 is just a thank you to everybody that stuck around through all the trials and tribulations that we faced and um, to make the most out of the rest of the time we have together and again I just say thank you. Whatever you do in life, just have fun and live your life to the fullest. Good luck. Thank you for allowing me to become the best version of myself. If you can't beat them, join them. Okay, so my final message to my classmates is just really take the time to enjoy life. We had a rough year and I think we deserve a break. I will miss some of you. So I'd say my final message to my classmates is to not work for money, but work for happiness. And we're up. <laughs> I'm Aiden Lowry, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> this year was an
like a pillow, so she's all.